Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on analysis and design of algorithms. In this session, I shall discuss on horsepool algorithm. This horsepool algorithm is used for pattern matching and it accepts two inputs here. One should be the text and the other input should be the pattern and this pattern you are going to search in the text. You are going to start searching the pattern right from the beginning of the text. In the beginning, if there is no match found, then you are going to shift the pattern by more than one position but by how many positions you have to shift it that you need to decide by the shift table that's the reason this algorithm makes use of another algorithm for the shift table so the complete algorithm has got two algorithms here one is the shift table algorithm and another is the pattern matching algorithm so these two are the different algorithms for this horsepool algorithm so you should be knowing the pseudocode for the shift table algorithm and also you should be knowing the pseudocode for the pattern matching algorithm so first thing is we have to construct the shift table this is the shift table algorithm as i said you are going to learn two algorithms here one is the shift table algorithm and another is the horsepool matching algorithm so the so in the shift table these first three are the comment lines first line we always write what is the purpose here so it is going to fill the shift table entries and this shift table will be used by the horsepools algorithm the second comment line we are writing that we require an input here the pattern pattern itself is an input here and output will be a table so these things first will construct here and then we will go to the next horsepool algorithm so before I start explaining you about how to construct the shift table and how to fill the entries in the shift table, let me first tell you what exactly is the problem. Suppose see, as I said, you are going to search a pattern in the text. I will be writing here one pattern called as India, fine. And you are going to search this pattern in a text called, this is your text. This is your pattern, India, and this is your text, love, my country, India. So, with due respect to all other countries and respect to all the people living in other countries, how you are going to search the pattern in this text is, for this you require one shift table. So, let us construct the shift table now. So, the shift table will be constructed in this manner. You are going, one thing you observe here, the, the pattern is having what, I, N, D, I, A, all these are uppercase letters. Also, you have the text consisting of uppercase letters but here you have spaces in between so that means in my shift table i have to make a provision for the values for all the uppercase letters so we have in english language 26 alphabets okay a to z and since your text is having what the space here that means there is one more extra character which i can include that is the space so totally i am using 27 characters in the shift table so let me just first construct the shift table so how will you construct the shift table start writing all the alphabets here start from the first alphabet here so i have written here all the uppercase alphabets a to z and apart from that i'll be including one space here okay 26 because i'm starting from 0 it will be 26 now you start filling the values here for the shift table so now how to fill the values for the sh shift table you go to the shift table algorithm the shift table algorithm says that you have to give the input the pattern as the input and your output will be the table now the table is what it is indexed by the alphabets characters that we have already done there is first one for loop for i equal to 0 to size minus 1 table of i okay whatever are the entries in the table you have to fill with this value m what is m here m is the length of the pattern what is the pattern here pattern is india okay if pattern is india then how many alphabets it has got one two three four five so five alphabets are there so m value is what five in this example so this one you have to fill it so for i equal to zero to size minus one do table of i with m that means you are going to fill every entry in the table with this value which value phi because our pattern is india and it has got phi character so now as per the shift table for loop we have filled all the characters here in the sh in the shift table with the value phi now how these values will get updated that is the next step on what basis are you going to update so that is the next step here in the algorithm 
for j equal to 0 to m minus 2 do table of p of j with m minus 1 minus j so this part i'll explain now as per the second for loop in the shift table it says that wherever are the letters present in this shift table wherever are the letters i n d i a okay these five letters in the shift table you need to update with the values that means you are not going to retain it as five you are going to update with some other number now what is this number this number is simply like this see if i am doing not as per the algorithm it is simply like this after this first letter i i has got how many alphabets after i one two three four that means i value is four after n what are the letters how many after n how many letters are there d i a so for n it is three after d how many letters are there two so d value is two after i how many letters are there only one a so i value is now once again what initially you got four now it is one no need to carry out this for the last alphabet because this is the last one there are no more alphabets after a so this way you got the values for i as 4 for n it is 3 for d is 2 and for i is 1 this is we have this we have computed manually but as per the algorithm this is the formula this one so we'll do that m minus 1 minus j pattern of j j will be what first 0 fine i n d i a this is your pattern p array it is pointing to 0 1 2 3 4 so when j equal to 4 that means for pattern of 0 pattern of 0 is which one <coughs> p of 0 is which one i p of 0 is i or i you are writing m minus 1 minus j i is what at index 0 so j is equal to 0 so for j equal to 0 your i value will be what how much m minus 1 m is how much m is 5 5 minus 1 minus 0 it is 4 so this is what we got as per the formula and earlier whatever we did manually for i it is 4 now j equal to 1 that means you are pointing to the next alphabet in the pattern which is n so we can say that it is p of 1 which is n here you have to write down j value as 1 you started with j equal to 0 now j value is 1 equal to 5 minus of 1 now j value is what this one will get changed every time j value is 1 so 5 minus 2 will be what 3 so you got 3 for the letter n fine here this is what is for the letter n 3 now j equal to 2 p of 2 the alphabet is d and will you and you have to compute like this now this will cha get changed Five minus of one minus of two j value is two here so it will be two so d value is two here j equal to three next time p of three is i formula is m minus one minus j which is equal to what five minus one minus three which is equal to one so this is what we got see initial we got four three two one when we did manually and as per the algorithm steps four three two one now i value initially we got 4 since i was appearing once again okay in the pattern and once uh, second time we got i value as 1 so the latest value for i need to be considered so these three okay so out of this five letters that are there in the pattern i n d i a i is what i is repeating so whatever you got at the end the latest one that you need to update in the shift table and n and d also you need to update in the shift table so it is out of five letters three letters will get updated here the last one you are not considering because as per the algorithm it says that you have to carry out this j loop for 0 to m minus 2 m is 5 5 minus 2 is 3 0 to m minus 2 as per the algorithm m is 5 so m is 5 0 to 5 minus 2 which is equal to 3 that is why we started from j equal to 0 j equal to 1 j equal to 2 j equal to 3 i and d i four alphabets in that also one is getting repeated so only three three alphabets n 
D and I. These three you have to replace. So, this is the procedure to update the values in the shift table. Now, where is N in the shift table? Here. So, you will shift 5 with 3. Why? Why with 3? Because after the formula, after we apply the formula, we got the value as 3. We are updating here 3. For the letter D, for the letter D here, the value is 2. So, this will get replaced. For the letter I, the value is 1. As I already told, initially you got I value as 4, but latest is 1. So, that one you have to replace here. I is 5 here. So, this will be 1. These three values only got updated in the shift table. Now, we will start. This is about the shift table only. Next, you have to see this whatever I said till now is about the shift table. Next is we have to apply the horsepool algorithm and try to see whether the pattern is appearing in the text. So, this is the horsepool algorithm. For this, the input is a pattern and output is what? It will give you the index or the location where that pattern that is where the string or the substring is found or it will return minus 1 if there are no matches. So these are the steps here for the horsepool algorithm and the first thing is it will call the shift table because without the shift table it is not possible for us to apply the horsepool algorithm. So let us apply here for the text now. So our pattern is India and our text is I love my country India. Now we will start applying the horsepool algorithm. First, we will index this text okay, for i0. Here, there is a space. Remember, this, this is the space. So, for that, you will get index 1. For L2, for O3, 4, 5. Here, we have space. So, this is 6, 7, 8. Here, we have space. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Here, you have space 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So, our text has got from 0 to 22 that is 23 locations. Now, you need to start matching the pattern. Start from the first location only. We will write here first we are trying to. So, our pattern is like this I N D I A. So, as per the algorithm it will try to first match with the last character of the pattern the last character here is a it will try to see whether there is a match found here the letter is v okay this one is v but the pattern letter is a so there is no match found if, if there is no match found then what is the letter that is present here it is v so for the letter v in the shift table what is the value it is 5 so your pattern will get shifted by 5 positions now the letter V in the shift table has got a value 5. So, your pattern will get shifted by 5 positions. You are here now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The pattern will start from here. I, N, D, I, A. Now, this A is trying to get matched with this character. This is a space character. It is not at all matching. So, now you see for the shift table, for the space character, the value is 5. The pattern will get shifted by 5 positions. So, now your pattern will be uh, placed, you see, you are, the pattern is here now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will start from here, right, now it is trying to get matched with this, A here, T in the text, it is not getting matched, see what is the value for T, the value for T in the shift table is 5, so the pattern will get shifted by 5 positions now again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, your pattern will start from here, I, N, D, I, A, right. After this, you try to see, you are trying to match this A with N, it is not getting matched, if it is not getting matched, try to see what is the value for N in the shift table, for N we have, for N, for N we have the value 3, okay, N will get shifted by 3 positions now, so you are here now, 1, 2, 3. So, this will start from here. Now, your pattern is here. So, it will try to see if there is a match. First, it is trying to see whether A is getting match. Yes, if it is match, then it will move to the next character I here. Then, it will try to see whether I will get matched with I. Yes, it is. there is a match found. Then, it will move to the next D. It, there is a match found. Then, next it will move with N. Yes, N is also getting matched with N true then here i is also getting matched with so 
it started matching right from the right hand side so right uh, right hand side first letter a got matched with a i got matched with i then d got matched with d n got matched with n and i got matched with i so this pattern is found in the text and it is present at the location 18 so this is the value it returns as per the algorithm it is going to return the location number where this pattern or the string is found and remember one thing here in this uh, algorithm now you were searching the pattern india it is a string suppose in the same question if it is asked just try to match the pattern ind then also it will match and it will give you the location where it is present suppose if it is asked just try to search a pattern dia then even then it is going to search and say that yes it is found and it will return the location number where that pattern is present so it is not just a string it is a substring okay even it will search for substring and return the value suppose if the pattern is not present at all then it is going to return minus one so this is one information and oppose in your pattern the first two characters or three character match out of that one two three four five the first character is matching from the text the second uh, character is matching from the text the third character is matching from the text the fourth character is matching from the text let us assume the last one this is not matching okay if this is not matching with some let us take uh, there was some other letter m then if it is not matching and uh, from the right side you found that all the four letters are getting matched then by how many number of positions you will shift you should always check only the first letter okay first letter in the text is a if the first letter in the text is a check what is the value here in the shift table then you shift the pattern by that many positions you now your pattern is here so it will get shifted by one two three four five next time it will start from here okay the next character I have shown you the working of the Orspool algorithm with an example. The tracing of this example I shall discuss in the next session. So, hope you find this session useful. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.